so uh, another xcode tutorial rather an ios developer tutorial and uh, i'm going to be showing you how to purchase an apple developer account so basically you to to use uh, or uh, to upload apps on the app store you need to have an apple developer account even if you develop the app uh, you know so to install it on the device uh, you need certificates you need provisioning profiles and things like that right it's not like in android you can just you know develop you can just develop the app and export the app, uh, sign it and export it and you can share it with anybody. It can't be done in iOS like this. You need to remember that uh, while development is going on, only those devices that are present in the Apple developer console are allowed to be installed, uh, sorry, are going to be having the app installed on the device. So you cannot install apps. Uh, so for example, if I have an app ID or an application which has five users registered in the developer console and I create a provisioning profile for that uh, app, you cannot install uh, any other on it on any other device so that's a uh, you know very secure way of installing apps so it's very easy to purchase an apple developer account i know it's pretty primitive but some people uh, still don't know how to do that and a uh, couple of things i need to show you so it's actually around uh, the apple developer annual fees about 100 usd right and the enterprise program is 299 usd so i am on uh, an enterprise uh, plan okay and uh, I pay around uh, $100 every year for my renewal and uh, so you need to remember that when you take an Apple developer program basically uh, like uh, the fee is one time this fee enterprise program fee is one time and then you pay every year for renewal $100 okay so there are differences uh, when you purchase an Apple developer account so either you can go for a, a enterprise account or an individual account the difference is that for an individual account uh, if you need, if you have, a, say, you're a client and you want to uh, give out the development process to a development team, right? So you need to you need to share your root credentials, which is probably your Apple ID, uh, where uh, all your Mac and everything is present, right? So that has to be shared with the developer also, because in uh, the Apple Developer Console, you cannot uh, create a user for an individual account, which you can do it for an enterprise account, right? So an enterprise account is a little more expensive, okay? And uh, for an enterprise account, what you need to do is you need to get something like uh, something that is called a DUNS number, right? So you need to go to Google, just type DUNS number. It's a done and Bradstreet number, actually. So it takes normally about two weeks to get this number, right? So go to this website and uh, you can then apply for a DUNS number. There should be an option here, here, right? So. Yeah. basically it's like if you're in india you have something like sybil so you have something like this in tnb in us so they basically have like a credit rating for uh, companies and uh, you need to basically uh, register your uh, company's details here and it takes about uh, i think two to three weeks uh, for them to verify your account so uh, i think you need to do something like So you just need to click this, right? Get a free DNS number, okay? So this is get a free DNS number first. Okay, you need to fill up this information, register, complete the whole process. And you get a mail from DNS, and probably they'll ask you some questions. And uh, after all this is done, then you need to go and uh, register your dns number so um, so when you're doing the when you're doing the submission right for an apple developer account so here so you can go for go to this option
yeah so it's here enroll option okay so you can enroll as an individual or enrolling as an organization you do have this right it should be a legal entity and uh, start the enrollment process okay and uh, so you need to have an apple id right so basically you follow this process and uh, you create an apple id if you do not have one you can create your apple id on uh, just create your apple id here right and this has to be used here when you when you do it here then you need to go ahead and use it to complete the process finish the payment right select the options and you get your uh, details of the program and uh, so basically if you're applying as a company first need to get your dns number done so once you get a dns number then you should go ahead and apply uh, directly through that uh, link which i shown you okay and it takes about one to two days for the activation process to happen and then you can use an apple developer account so i think it's a uh, it's a little complex process uh, in terms of enterprise accounts if you have a company if you're an individual it's pretty fast you just need to uh, pay the fees and enroll yourself and uh, but i told you the drawback that uh, you cannot uh, have multiple uh, users on developer.apple.com you can have them on itunes connect but you cannot have them on uh, developer.apple.com you need to give your root access for the apple id so that is something that you need to keep in mind when choosing between an individual account and an enterprise account so hope that clarifies how to create an apple account uh, an apple developer account and uh, the drawbacks of using an individual account than an enterprise account if you have any more doubts please uh, leave your comment in the comment section below thanks for watching